Hey everybody, welcome back to my butler. Eh. <laughs> I don't I don't even have anything witty to say. I don't have any banter to start with. I don't have anything. And I don't think I will have anything for a long time. Uh, 71. Oh, right. Oh, God. A bouquet for your birthday. Still allergic to those flowers. <laughs> it's gotten so cold. The foliage has been so pretty until a short while ago. Well, winter does that. It kills everything. Just like my butler does. I can tell it's winter just by looking outside. There's snow everywhere. <laughs> What's all this white stuff? It's winter. Oh. Oh, I can see my breath. Well, will you look at that? When hot air hits cold air, you see mist. Well, I guess that's to be expected. Considering. It's stem it's the it's December starting today. Miss sex to McBumble, for fuck's sake, co close the window. My nipples are hard. <laughs> One minute into this, I'm already mentioning his nipples. This is gonna go well. <laughs> You'll catch a cold, and so will I. When you say things like that, it sounds like you're not fond of the cold, Yonikura. Well, I know. Not with a shirt open like that. I wouldn't be either. You're right. I'm, I'm going to catch a cold, so hurry up and close the window. <laughs> I like a man who's truthful. <laughs> Yonikura let out a chuckle and held me by my waist. Let go! <laughs> God! Or are you going to warm me up, Miss Sexto McBumble? I'm going to open that window up and throw you up. There's Chuck you right out of it. How far can you throw, Yonikura? I heard a smooching sound as I felt something soft touch my ear. <laughs> Stop kissing my ear on every occasion. It's like candy. <laughs> sure. It's gross. This is your weak spot, isn't it? Yonikura held me tightly as he chuckled. Music, please come back. Thank you! So, what were you thinking about just now? Huh? You were deep in thought, right? I could tell just from looking at you. I have to sneeze so badly. I think I got a cold for the wither panel. <laughs> I gotta sneeze. Oh boy. Yeah, I was thinking about something. What was it? <laughs> about how it's December starting today. Yeah, look at the calendar today. There's only one more month until Christmas party. Until the Christmas party. Not even a month. The 25th. Uh, 4th. <laughs> Hey, I'm asking you uh, about what you've been thinking about. Oh, there's nothing going on in this brain. It's just something rattling around in there. Ugh. Probably the first one. I'm gonna guess that. Uh, what is this? 71? 75. Well, it's just... I was thinking about how we won't be able to see each other again soon. What? Unicur frowned and looked a little displeased. <laughs> My nose is displeased. Who decided we won't be able to see each other again? Life. The universe. It's against me. What do you mean, who? I'll see you whenever I feel like it. Oh, we got a bad boy. We got a bad boy. And I'll get rid of anyone who gets in the way. Meaning? You need to be determined enough to do that, too. Uh. Unicura. I was- it was just like Yoni Kura to forcibly say things so full of confidence. I'm happier to hear him say that. It's better than believing that we'll never see each other again after the party. Are you sure? Cause that's like a dream right now. But will we only see each other when Yoni Kura wants to meet with me? What'll happen if- when I want to see him? That's- no. That shouldn't happen though. How long are you gonna continue making that face? It's my face though! It's just me! My face, it's just me. You're uh, you're a lot cuter and with a confident smile on your face. This isn't the face of confidence, this is the face of pain. <laughs> he put both hands on my waist and embraced me. When you need to see warrior like that, it'll make me you just make us as a person just more nervous. Oh everybody's gonna be nervous. Looks like you've still got some leeway. Our foreheads bonked together <laughs> Our foreheads booped together and we start uh and we were staring at each other, face to face. I'll make you forget your worries. Oh dear. Uh, my heart jumped as he kissed my eyelids. 
Apparently. I, I'm gonna need to draw him a map as to where the lips are on my face. <laughs> as I looked at him. Wait. You, if you're looking at somebody, your eyelids are like... N like you can't... Re I just don't understand how that works. I just... <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm allergic to him. It's... it's, it's don't close your eyes, look at me. It's hard not to close my eyes when you're- or not to close my eyes when you're literally kissing them. Like... Is, is it gonna be one point where he just licks my eyeball? Is that gonna happen? Unicur smirked and I looked up just like he told me. Let me- let me lick your eyeball. Like- like that Halloween candy. Ew. Sex stomach bumbo. This time he kissed my lips. Oh, there you go. You finally found your mark. Mmm. <laughs> Before I knew it, his tongue had entangled mine and started. He started sucking. Oh, God, just like this visual novel. <laughs> Our lips made wet. <laughs> no, wait. Our lips made moist, lustful sounds. Moist. The word moist just makes it worse. Worse. If I was writing this, I would just put moist. That's a terrible word, moist. That and avocado. I hate both of them. I love those lips of yours. I love them too. Can I keep them? They're so soft and they feel so nice. Yeah, me too. I love my lips too. I love Unicura's lips. Sorry. Oh, narcissistic a little bit. In the past month, I've gotten used to the strength in his arms, the heat from his tongue, the softness of his lips, him licking my eyeballs. See all your thoughts flew right away. Apparently not. We're still thinking. Yeah, you're right. He's right, I can't help but feel nervous after thinking about those things. You were thinking about it being December and how it's cold and how you can see your breath. You weren't thinking about anything too deep, were you? It'll be okay if I don't think about anything right now, right? You're really good at that, Sexto. I suggest you keep doing that. You know what? Don't quit your day job. Just keep not thinking. Let me do the thinking for you. A few days later, it was dark. Wait, where are you taking me? It'll be alright, so... Follow me quietly. Are we going to the balcony? Because that's Kira's spot. I mean, would you come along with me, Miss Saxon McBumble? <laughs> Just in case anybody's hearing you. Uh, Unicur took me by the hand and led me to some unknown location. Today was also my birthday. Okay. Kagerzaka had said we would celebrate it, but where? It's dark. What? Is it not dark? I can't tell what time of day it is. Right here, Miss Saxon McBumble. This is... A yawn, sorry. It's the guest room that they use to host parties. Guest. To host party guests. <laughs> Unicura tugged my hand and we stepped inside. Okay, I don't know what time of day it is, but... Happy birthday, Miss Sexto McBumble! Yay! Woohoo! Everybody clap. She survived another year. I'm proud. Huh? Kira, Kamazaki, Kagurazaki, and Kirishima. All the Ks. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's, it's, it's four Ks. We're fine. It's fine. Everyone had been waiting for me. There were flowers and food, more luxurious than usual set up on, uh, than, th than usual set up on the table. Okay. Might not be much, but we prepared a banquet for the special day. Is it McDonald's? Because I'd be very happy. Or, or like Pizza Hut where they sing you happy birthday. You didn't want to have an extravagant party, so we're, we're in a mansion with butlers, dude. <laughs> we decided to have a banquet, but... Is that alright with you, Miss Sextomic Bumble? Sure, food, I like it. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. I take that as a yes. I just realized how spiky his hair was. <laughs> Miss Sextomic Bumble, this is our, our present for you. Oh gosh, did you sign it together as a couple? Because that is so sweet. I hate that. I hate that when, like, two people get married, you only get one present. Like, are you- had you- have you people just formed into one person where you can't buy two presents for your individual person? No, you're just one glob of a person now. Marry people, I swear. <laughs> just for the record, each of us thought- uh, each of us thought of and prepared a present that would make you happy. I see. Even though everyone was so busy, doing what? Dusting- dusting the flowers? Dusting Makoto because he never leaves that same spot just staring at Sexto? Probably. They went out of their way to do this just for me. 
Besides the food, there were a number of presents, large and small, lined up on the table. Gosh, there's only like what? Kira, Makoto, Gada, the, 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 the. Without you and Kira, it's only four dudes. Not to mention, there was a huge bouquet casually set, uh, casually set up as well. Ugh, I'm gonna have to go with the bouquet because I know who made it. Good morning, Dodge. The hedgehog woke up. I don't know where he went. Oh, I am. Alright. It's probably this one. I didn't even check. Holy crap, those are bright flowers, though. <laughs> this bouquet. Or bouquet. Bouquet. <laughs> the bouquet. I came close to the huge bouquet that was set on the table, so out of place. It's just sitting there. These are the flowers that you and Ikara prepared, right? Yes, I ordered the flowers especially for you. Yay. This is the flower that I said I liked and apparently you're allergic to. <laughs> when you and Ikara and I were in the greenhouse together. Oh, what a time to remember. I ordered the flowers that you said you liked from the flower shop in town. Oh, hooray. The bouquet was so big it was hard to carry in my hands. The flowers bloomed despite the cold. This is the first time I've ever received such a dazzling bouquet. They're gonna die within a week, you know. <laughs> I hate- I hate getting flowers. Why? Give me- give me like a rock. A pretty rock. Paint on a rock. A rock won't wither away and die. I don't have to water a rock. I don't have to make sure that this rock stays alive. This is coming from a person who has a bunch of animals. <laughs> give me a fish. That'll work. I like fish. Or fishes. We talked about the presents excitedly and told each other our impressions. Oh, uh, wait, where's Yonikura's present? <laughs> he walks up. I'm the present. He's got a bow on his head. Oh, now that he mentions it, Yonikura's present was the only one that wasn't there. Mine is for later. Hey, Dodge, what do you- Aww, you're so cute when you eat. What do you think you mean by that, little buddy? My dog thinks I'm talking to her. No, I'm talking to the hedgehog, the spiky pineapple. I'm just eating, okay. Later. You know what- you know what you get. Come on. Yeah, it's kind of a special present that I can't really show you in front of other people because of reasons. It involves no clothes. A special present? Oh my god. I tilted my head and Yonikar smirked as he hugged my shoulders. I'm sure you'll love it. Look forward to it, Sexto. McBumble. Yonikar, how dare you? Oh. Please look forward to it, Miss Sexto McBumble. Thank you very much. Okay. Looking at how Yonikur and I are interacting. A special present. Oh, Kirishima, please. You've watched enough porno to know. Could you two be- Shh, 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 shh. Makoto's gonna have a heart attack. He'll just die right on the floor. Just fall over. Kirishima's eyes were wide open. Really? They don't look like it. What? Does it Kirishima's or- Yeah, okay. For some reason, Kamazaki started shaking <laughs> It's like, oh, God. <laughs> Kamazaki, calm down. <laughs> it's okay. He needs he needs to hide under a table and just kind of just rock in the fetal position. Maybe a corner would be better. I don't know, a closet. <laughs> he needs to walk away. <laughs> oh, you just realized that now, Kirishima. Dude, I've been shipping them for months. <laughs> I can understand, Kamazaki, but you're surprisingly sharp, Kirishima. <laughs> Just sharp as a butter knife, apparently. Kira smiled awkwardly as he tapped on Kamazaki's shoulder. He's just shaking, just wheezing. Give him a bag. He needs a bag. Anybody, help him. Well, too bad for you, Kamazaki. Kira and Kamazaki just sitting on one of their beds at night, just talking about their crushes. Kamazaki's like, I like sex, what about you? It's like a girl slumber party. What's too bad? When I tried asking them, Yonikura suddenly brought his lips to my ear. Ugh. I looked at the microphone like, I wonder if I should get close to it and just whisper in your guys' ear. But uh, I know that wouldn't work well because it would be just air. Just just that. Miss sex stomach bumble. He whispered into my ear softly enough so the others couldn't hear. You're such a pig, you hedgehog. <laughs> He's such a hog. Funny. When you finish eating, I'll be waiting at the front door. Oh my, he's gonna wait at the front door. How romantic. Which door? There's this mansion, dude. Wait, the front door of the mansion? Or the front door of the hall? See, my directions, all mixed up. Uh, okay, I got it. After the 
bustling, lively dinner party was over. He didn't eat. He just stood there like, all right, I'll wait. Oh, this front door. Okay. Sorry to keep you, Onikar. I was eating with the others like normal people. You don't want to eat? Are we going to McDonald's? Taco Bell? I like that. Miss Sex McMumble. You'll catch a cold if you go out like that. Why are we going out at all? It's winter. No co no coldness. Don't even open that door. <laughs> huh? Unicura smiled bitterly and put a scarf around my neck. What is this? Are we going outside? No, I just decided to open the door and leave it there. That's fine. He started to giggle like a mischievous rascal. Eh, okay. I love the word. I, lo I, lo I love the word rascal. It's so cute. What are you doing, Yonikura? From here on out, you'll be wearing a blindfold. You can only see me, though. It's just the blindfold is just pictures of him everywhere on the inside. Wait. It's like an Oculus Rift kind of thing. I panicked and pulled the blindfold he forced onto me. Why am I being blindfolded? Where are we- where are we go? Where do you plan on taking me? Oh my god, my brain wanted to say something different than what was actually run on the screen. Our destination is something to look forward to. Bahamas? California? Woohoo! Yonikura chuckled and respectfully knelt in front of me. Let us go, Miss Sex McMumble. Dodge, I don't trust this. Dodge doesn't trust it either. He held his hand out in a very dramatic way. Leave without tell telling anyone is kind of a bitch move, but who cares, right? Um, sure. Sure, uh. Is 78, 81. Okay, let's be a bitch. Let's go, Yonikura. I behaved like a lady, stood tall, and took my t t took the hand he held out to me. Not his hand, somebody else's hand. Oh my goodness. What's with that? What do you mean? You're acting like a butler, so I... I see. God, fucking hiccups. In that case, you're my precious master. Me, mister, mister, master, huh? While his shoulders was st were still shaking as he laughed, he held his hand out once more. Then shall we? Please take my hand, Miss Sex McBumble. I did. Do you want me to take another one? I have two. Bring it. I'm sure you love that clap in your ear. He put the blindfold on me once more and hugged my shoulders. I didn't know where we were headed, but we left the mansion. I swear, if anybody put a blindfold on me and started, like, moving me... Somewhere, I'd be totally freaked out. Like, if it was somebody else. Have you guys ever, like, when you were a kid, just put a blindfold around your eyes and walk around the house trying to find where you like, were trying to go? That was the best game ever, just to play by yourself. But if anybody were to do it to me, I'd freak out. Best game ever as a kid. I want to do it again. <laughs> I just want to walk around my house with a blindfold on. My mom would be like, what are you doing? It's like, I'm reliving my childhood. Thank you. He put me in a car and we drove for a while, still blindfolded. <laughs> After that, he moved into a different vehicle. Where in the world does he plan on taking me? Just on an airplane with a blindfold. I swear if it's an airplane, I'm going to die. I can't see anything, so it, m it begs me. Be the sea worries up. Ah, there we go. Yonikara. I couldn't help but worry and called out to him. Just a little bit longer. I heard him suppressing his chuckles right beside me and felt my and felt him embrace my shoulders powerfully. And then there was a loud noise. What's that sound? It continued getting louder. Eek. The final thing we rode shook violently and frightened me. Is he shipping me off? What's going on? I guess around here is fine. Open your eyes, Sexto. But I can't, there's a blindfold. I was in a daze as I took my blindfold off. Oh great! So we're gonna jump. Where are we? What is that? Huh? I could see the dazzling night skyline was beneath me. This is the inside of a helicopter. Girl, you didn't realize you were Helicopters are loud and you would recognize the sound of a heli- Fuck it. <sighs> I guess I was close to a plane. I mean, we're in the air. <laughs> Do you like it, Sex and McBumble? You know, she could be afraid of heights and have a total freak out session right now. You don't know this. I mean, I would. I'm afraid of heights. I hate helicopters and planes. I would smack you. Unicare was sitting next to me, whispering to my ear as he held my shoulders. The view from up here is my present to you. Excuse me, you didn't create this. You didn't do any of that. You bought the helicopter. You rented the helicopter. And whoever the heck is flying it. You didn't create the skyline. This is my present from God. Thank you very much. All the city lights that look like jewels that I can't wear. All of that belongs to you tonight. Oh, good. What can I do with it? Can I, can I, uh, 
Can I get a refund? Of the city lights are Yonikura's presents to me. Pre present to me. Huh. I don't care what it cost. I am yawning so much. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. It's so damn pretty just like your butt face. Whoa! The sky is so clear I can see far out into the distance. Yonikura, it's really pretty. I was so happy I shouted excitedly without thinking. Scared the pilot and then we went pfft. I am so overtired. You guys have no idea. <laughs> You're much prettier. I know. He pitted my hair from behind and messed it all up. How dare you? <laughs> no, that's not right. You're cute. I know. I know. I am just... <laughs> I am just beanie baby cute, aren't I? Oh gosh. Right, what? And then the world exploded. And snow everywhere. No, that's not snow. It's ashes. Snow! Ashes. I clung to the window. <laughs> Just plastering her face up against the window. Snow! I clung to the window, looking outside, and the white snow was falling from the sky. Oh, you're right. Yep, that white stuff. Unicura smiled pleasantly as he watched the snow flutter down. It's this year's first snow. Oh, yeah, you're right. Unicura touched my hand. Ew. I figured it's yours. I'm so professional. Oh, my God. I'm glad I got to see you this- I got- <laughs> I'm glad I got to see this year's first snuff all with you. <clears throat> yeah, brain. Just get rid of a bunch of words. That's fine. I don't even want to read them. Happy birthday, Miss Sexy McBubble. You know, it'd be the best birthday present ever if I took control of this helicopter and just crashed it into that building right behind you. And I'd jump. Have fun, Unikura. <laughs> I'm- I'm being so morbid right now. I'm just so tired. <laughs> Did you enjoy my present? Sh sure. You know what would be the best present right now is letting me sleep. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever received such a nice present. But seeing the night that night, seeing the night view probably isn't the only reason why I'm happy. It's because Yonikura is right here next to me. But not for long, folks. <laughs> and then the helicopter crashed into the mansion, and here we're home. After having my fill of the snow-filled- God, what a sentence. After having my fill of the snow-filled night sky- My goodness. Unikura and I went back to our rooms. Sorry, was that plural? Because he's here. You mean room? Will you be alright, Miss Sexy McBumble? Uh, yeah, the snow didn't seem to make me melt. I'm not made of sugar. So, I think I am okay. House didn't fall on me. Didn't crash the helicopter. I think we're good. You're become quite cold. <laughs> oh, the grammar. Oh, the grammar. Unicur brushed off the snow that was on my hair and shoulders. I'll be fine. There's a fireplace right there and a bath of the other side. More importantly, thank you so much for tonight, Unicura. Miss Sex McBumble. You're welcome. I'm honored to know that you had enjoyed it. Even my hedgehog noped out of here. He went back to bed. He bowed politely in his perfect butler persona. He then quickly returned to his real self. Next year, we'll do something even more extravagant, so look forward to it, okay? Huh? <laughs> Sorry for the stiffles, old dear. Before... Nope, I guess we can't ask about next year. I guess we're looking forward to it. Okay, I'll do that. Sure. Yeah, thanks. I'll do that. Yeah, get excited for it well, with, with all your might. Not while. God damn. I'll give you the best birthday that'll make every single woman jealous of you. Cool. He's overly confident as usual. Sexto, come over here. I don't want to. Can't you just... Not... It's like... Ugh, it's like watching a relationship. Like... Like, not shipping it, it's like watching two newly- new couples just touch each other over and over again. It's annoying. I don't even know what I'm trying to explain, but hopefully you understand. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. I guess Yonikura heard my rant. Finally, your ears have opened. Come this way, Miss Sexta McBumble. What? <laughs> I have one more birthday present for you. Oh god, I can't take any- I hate my birthday! I'm going to thoroughly pamper you tonight like you did the other night and I didn't get any sleep at all. That sounds lovely. 
So you can order me to do anything you like. Just go. Just, that's your order. Just go. So come on. Come on over. His sweet voice sent chills up my spine as he reached his hand out to me. Oh. He grabbed my wrist and pulled me over. The springs in the bed creaked loudly because that is a detail I need to know. As we both toppled onto it. You're over here. I know where my body is. Don't even worry about it. He sat cross-legged on top of the bed and... <laughs> you and a carrot patted his knees. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Over here. Is he telling me to sit on his lap? Sure. Why not? It's a, it's a king-size bed, but there is not enough room for two, so you gotta pop a squat right on, <laughs> right on his lap. <laughs> she looks like a child! <coughs> I'm so sorry. But she looks like a child! It's not good. I don't know what it is that's making her look like that to me. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I am just too tired. I don't know what it is, but she looks like a legit child. <laughs> Screen cap that. There we go. I, uh, I'm i gonna have to ask you guys' opinion. Does she look like an, a, a person in college? Does she look like, I don't know, a 20-year-old? Does she look like that? Or does she look like a 10-year-old? <laughs> there is much wrong here. Uh, I'm just gonna continue. This is really embarrassing, considering, yeah, the age difference. <laughs> Yunika hugged me from behind. That's just not what this is portraying at all. I sat on his lap like a little kid. You know? <laughs> Sometimes. I just wanna quit. <laughs> the hand he rubbed my back with to come for me was warm and felt nice. But, 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 but. <laughs> my nose is so stuffy, and I know I sound so stuffy. But there is nothing I can do about it because I don't have a tissue. Oh, I cry. Stop sulking with that bright red face of yours and tell me. What do you want me to do, Sexto? I want you to get the CG off my screen. Off my screen. Uh, even if he tells me that, I can't think of something I want him to do so quickly, but... Then, could you... Could, could you pet my head? I'll go woof. I hate I I think somebody commented this is like a 14 year old wannabe visual novelist and I'm just sitting here like yeah <laughs> it's pretty much what it is like I'm working on my own visual novel right now and it, it it's not this bad and I have like no writing experience at all and it's not this bad are you okay with that sure you touching my head perfectly God, she looks like a fucking child <laughs> As Yonikura burst into laughter, can he not stop laughing for two seconds? He looked at me with gentle eyes and put his hand out in my, onto my head. He moved his hands up and down gently, and it felt better than I expected. Without thinking, I let out a deep breath. Are you satisfied? Sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, completely. It feels great. You're almost like a cat. Okay, I was thinking dog, but you know what? Whatever. Cat. Pussy. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> Unicur's low, chuckling voice felt nice inside my ear as it hypnotized me. Hypno, hip, hypno, hip, hippo, hypno. <laughs> I'm too tired for this. Then can you do something that'll make me feel good? <laughs> what? Um. He seized my chin, faced me upward, and kissed me. Sex toe. <laughs> Sniffle. It was different from a slightly rough, overbearing kisses. Tonight his kisses were warm, sweet, and gentle. Like I told you, don't make such a cute voice from just from being kissed. Oh, goodness. Unicur looked a little troubled as he smiled and bra- wait. Okay, never mind. I was just confused considering the text is telling me that she is faced away from him. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Unicur. Ah. Looked a little troubled as he smiled and embraced me. It's only 1 a.m. I've been going to bed at like 8. <laughs> and I'm tired. Help me. I could hear his heartbeat from his bare chest. It, but, okay. It's, it's not bare, but... Okay. Do I hear music? I hear... It's 1 a.m. and I hear music outside. Guys, I don't live in the city. I live in, like, the country. And hearing somebody blast music at 1 a.m. is rare. Hearing somebody blast music at 3 p.m. is rare, I mean. 
Okay. You go, dude. Play that sick beat. When I listen to Yonikura's heartbeat like this, I feel at ease and feel sleepy. He was still petting my head as I yawned. Okay, it's the same beat over and over again. What are they listening to? I honestly don't know. It sounds like humming now. It sounds like a robe. <laughs> you can go to sleep like this tonight. I'll hold you until morning. Okay, yeah, but I kind of like to stretch out. His voice and heartbeat sounded like a lullaby. Made me feel happy and I closed my eyes. I had an unforgettable birthday today. Thank you, Yonikura. Oh, God, it's over. Thank God. <laughs> still listening to that love scandal cool okay i like the sound of that but i'm gonna end it here i'll see you guys in the next episode i'm gonna go investigate that weird music sound Bye bye <laughs>